Previously on Caddy Daddy Presents. It's here, Caddy Daddy's interactive video buying experience. When you see the product and a label, you can go to the label and click on it. That'll give you more information. Check it out. If you like what you see and you want to buy it, just click on the buy button. That takes you to the online store where you have more information, what customers purchased, related product. You can go back and click the X and that will take you back to the interactive video. Enjoy the learning experience and the buying experience. All right, so now we're back here at the chassis. What we're doing is we're looking at the third member right here. Now this third member right here, you'll notice the markings on here. This is how we checked the ring and pinion gear. We want to look, and it's a little bit marked. We did, we did it a few days ago. But going through with checking everything right there, we want to make sure we have a nice cigar shape that this, is, this paint identifies as it goes through that we're not having any odd inflection with the ring and pinion gear. So this is a little check right here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put the axles in the rear end. Now what we're going to do is we're putting the disc brake kit available from Caddy Daddy on here. And so one difference on the rear end is we're eliminating the backing plates of the drum brakes. If you're using your drum brakes, this is where you would put the backing plate on. Instead, right now, we're going to use this piece. You're going to see with the Caddy Daddy kit, it has an engraving on it and a machine side. The machine side is going to go against the axle right here. Now do also the orientation that we have, we do have the rear end upside down. So you want to have the two release with the holes for the calipers towards the rear of the car and cocked towards the top of the car. Once again, we're showing you right now with it upside down. So right here, we've got that, we've got our studs going through and we're going to go ahead and put the rear end in. Now you'll notice on the axles, we have new bearings pressed on it, also available from Caddy Daddy, and also the seals. And this right here is going to go right up against the bracket. And the shape of them is going to be the same as the shape on the rear end. So that flat spot is going to go towards the top of the rear end.
Also, too, it's a good time to note that the axles are two different lengths in this here car. So right now, we are working on the passenger side, which is the longer, longer, longer axle. This bump stop right here, with when we have the suspension all the way to the top, put a little bit of oil soap on there to kind of help with the weather, with the rubber part, and get it in there. So here we have the, the axle bump stop. And this metal part, you'll have to um, pull off the old one that you're replacing and, to, and apply it to the new rubber bumper. And it simply mounts on the bracket. With a single nut and lock washer. Fine Village is a great organization that gives back to the community. Check it out. You'll see so as well. Thanks for watching. Hi, my name is Son and Kirsten. We're here at the 2018 Vine Village Celebration, our major fundraiser here that helps fund programs that we run for people with developmental disabilities here in the greater Napa community. Vine Village was founded by my family and another family, each who had children with disabilities in 1972. And we depend on donations from all sorts of foundations and individuals and businesses throughout our community to help fund these programs and this is our biggest fundraiser of the year. Okay.